Hey, Molan, what's happening? Why are you so pensive? I'm just bored, Uzo. Nothing interesting ever happens around here. I spend day after day watching over peacefully grazing flocks when I don't even have to. Look, my friend Tilly sees so much more from up there. She's a better guard than I will ever be. How you feel, Mulan, but never forget it's not the job, but how you do it that counts. My father's been teaching me the secrets of Washu since I was a child. I'm a match for anybody. But there's no one to practice my skills on here. Am I gonna spend my whole life watching stupid sheep? But you're just a girl. You must stop dreaming impossible adventures. What's being a girl got to do with it? It's easy for you to talk. You can fly. You can go where you like, when you like, but I can't. Well, that's one way of looking at it, but I'll always be myself. I don't dream of being a dog or a donkey or something. And that's your problem, Mulan. You're not happy being a girl growing up in the country. You want to be a warrior. Claws and her wing and her breast, too. <laughs> we must take her home as soon as we can. We'll take care of her there.
Looks like Mulan is bringing home the flock. Something must have happened. I'll go out and meet her and bring her home. Oh dear, I hope it's nothing serious. Hurry, go open the gate for the pen and let the sheep in. attack the flock and Tilly's seriously injured. Don't worry, Mulan. She'll be all right. It takes a lot to kill an eagle. They're very strong birds. Make up a soft, warm bed of straw for her to lie on. I should have been more careful. If I'd stayed closer to the flock, the wolves would have never dared to attack. You're the expert around here. You've been in lots of battles with General Hua. You must have seen lots of wounds, too. What do you think? What are her chances? The wounds are serious, but I think with lots of rest and good food, she'll make a quick recovery. Oh, I hope so. Are you sure, Father? Yes, don't worry. But tomorrow morning, you should go into the mountains and collect some medicinal herbs and make a poultice with them, my child. If you put one on her wounds every day, her recovery will be even faster, and I guarantee she'll be flying again by winter. There's nothing more we can do for her now except let her rest, so come along. It's past our supper time. General Hua's never wrong. Tomorrow I'll take Mulan into the mountains to collect herbs. Hey, wait! I want to go into the mountains to look for herbs, too! No, Zul. Your job's to stay here and keep an eye on Tilly. I'll be here at your side all night. Please forgive me, it's all my fault. I wasn't taking the job seriously enough. As soon as it's light, we'll go looking for herbs. Tomorrow will be a tiring day for you, Mulan. You must get some rest too, I'll keep watch.
I smell fresh blood, Chief, and it's coming from in here. That means there's somebody in here who's wounded and won't be able to fight back. That sounds like a free supper to me. Yeah. <laughs> Well, 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 what do we have here? Two little rats who have lost their way home. Mind your own business, Sydney. We have work to do. Let me go! Let go of my tail, you stupid horse, and you'll be sorry! Chang, Chang, kick his shit or something! What are you waiting for? If you don't stop shouting, I'll stomp on your head and turn it into a pancake. Oh, oh. Stop that, you little varmint. You're irritating me. You heard, Chang. Stop it. Uh, anything you say, Chief. That's better. Now pay close attention. I know the rest of your gang's lurking outside, and you're just in here scouting out the place. So now I'm going to list your options. One, you go out there and tell the boys there's nothing interesting in the barn. Option number two, you stay in here and I'll give you a personal demonstration of what I can do with my hooves when two foolhardy rats irritate me. Is my message coming through loud and clear? Then get moving before I forget option number one. Discretion is the better part of valor, Chang. <laughs> what a pity. Come on, cheese break. Plan, Chief. We're ready to move. When are we going to raid the place? You're the boss, Chief. You just say the word. The word is we stay out of there, and that's straight from the horse's mouth. Hey, wait a second, Chief. What about that strong smell of fresh blood? The only fresh blood around here is going to be yours if you don't shut up. But we can all smell it, Chief. Hey, what is this? I'm the Chief around here, and I say to stay away from that barn. The blood's that way. the right herbs? Don't worry, I know the right places to look. I was born in a secret valley full of medicinal herbs. I know, Uzel, that's where we're going. Look. Waterfall around here. Huh? I must be dreaming or something. You're not dreaming, Molan. That's the way into the secret valley. Then what are we waiting for? The sooner we go there, the sooner we'll get back. On the other side of that waterfall are the medicinal herbs that are going to heal Tilly. Come on, let's go.
All right, now we're here. I hope you know what I have to look for, Ozo. A plant with long, narrow green leaves and a long, cob-like flower. You look so much better. I think it's time to exercise your wings. Here we are, Tilly. This is the moment of truth. Let's see if your wings are completely healed. Go! invaded our territory and are destroying everything they come across. My family escaped and now I'm leading them to safety. What terrible news! That means war! Where are our soldiers? Who's going to stop them? I saw some soldiers trying to stand up to the invaders, but there are not enough of them and General Bigbeard's men fight like savage demons. I must ride home quickly and report this news. Good luck! I hope you manage to find quieter pastures. Ha! Do it, Tilly. Go home now. It's getting dark.
Look at that! The first snow of the year! A little too early, if you ask me. Weather's getting worse. Shouldn't Mulan be back by now? Don't worry, she'll be home soon. She's old enough to look after herself. I wish I knew why Mulan behaves the way she does. She's so unlike all the other girls in the village. We have nothing to complain about, my dear. Mulan is a clever, honest girl, and she's strong, too. Just look at that snow. It'd be different if she were a boy. I know what you mean. I'll go meet her. Thank heavens you found me, Mulan. I slipped and fell over. I hit my leg on a rock, and it feels as though it's broken. Whatever you do, don't move, Father. I'll be at your side in a second. to go. When we get home, the doctor will set your leg properly.
All this attention is embarrassing. It's only a little bruise, nothing serious. You'll see, I'll be on my feet again in a week at most. I have to repair the fence around the barn. It's all very well to be served hand and foot, but enough is enough. Just be patient, Father. Just give the leg time to heal. The doctor said the longer you rest and keep your weight off it, the sooner it'll get better. You don't know how difficult that is for a man of action like myself. Oh, good morning, officer. It's always a pleasure when you come to see us. For me, too. But unfortunately, this visit is not a pleasure. I would like to speak to General Hua, please. Is he at home? Yes, please come in. You two wait outside for me. General Hua, what happened to you, sir? It's nothing. In fact, I really don't deserve all this attention. It's only a sprain. If you must know, I slipped and fell in the snow. Well, I'm glad to hear it's not serious, General. These are your orders from headquarters. The enemy has invaded our territory, sir. The situation is desperate. Headquarters wants you back on active service in three days. I hope for your sake and ours that you recover in time. Now I must go, sir. It's dangerous to travel after dark. Good luck. I wish you a quick recovery, sir. Don't be silly. You can't show up at command headquarters with a broken leg. You must make a complete recovery first. You can't fight the enemy in your condition, Father. It's too dangerous. If you can't use your leg, you won't be able to use your sword, and you won't be able to defend yourself. You see, I can stand up. That means I can go into battle to fight for my country against the invading forces.
lost daughter. What can I do for you? I'd like to speak to General Hua, please, little girl. I've been sent here with a message for you from Military Command Headquarters, General. What's happened, officer? Has the situation taken a turn for the worse? I've been ordered to inform you that you're no longer required to report for active service at Command Headquarters, General. Because of your physical condition, someone's been assigned to take your place. But I told them it's only a silly sprain. It feels much, much better today. There's absolutely nothing to stop me from reporting for duty as ordered. <gasps> what on earth are you doing dressed up like that, Mulan? Mulan? It's Mulan! It's Mulan! I knew it was! Well, huh. you certainly had me fooled, Mulan. Yes, you've been very clever with this disguise, but now I want to know exactly what you think you're up to, child. I wanted to go to command headquarters in your place. You know how much I admire your courage and your initiative, Mulan. But you're too young, and you don't have enough experience with Wushu to use it in a battle against a real enemy. How can you say that? You've been training me in Wushu since I was very small, Father. And you always say there's nobody in the whole region who can beat me. Yes, yeah, she's the best. You told me that too, Father. And you always say never to lie, too. I'm going to show you why. I don't want you to go into battle in my place. What are you going to do, Father? I'm going to find out how good you are, Mulan. You and I are going to fight. And if I win, I want you to promise to give up your crazy desire to be in the army. Only if you win. I admit you fought well, but if I didn't have this pain in my leg, I'd be faster in my feet and you'd never have won. Of course not, Father. But now I beat you, I can leave in your place. Careful! No, you can't. What do you mean, Father? That's what you said. If I won, I could leave in your place. I said that if I won, you'd have to promise to give up your crazy idea to be in the army, Mulan. I never said that if you won, you'd have the right to leave in my place. Stop putting words in my mouth. What are you doing, woman? Leave me alone. My leg's fine. I don't feel any pain at all. It's just a little numb, that's all. I'll leave tomorrow morning. And if we're lucky, all this will have taught Mulan a useful lesson that she won't forget. Oh, I do hope you're right. I don't know where we went wrong. Sooner or later, that girl will be the death of me. She's always so unpredictable.
Get out my armor, wife. It's in the trunk. Your armor's not here. You must have put it somewhere else. What? That's impossible. I knew it. Mulan took my armor and she's left already. Oh, what have you done, my child? moment on, my name will be Hua Muli, a name that will strike fear into the hearts of the enemy. They'll tremble every time they hear it mentioned in their presence. It's a beautiful name. It demands respect. Hello, Hua Muli. I think it's perfect. <laughs> if a name was enough to make an enemy take to its heels, I would be the most feared warrior in the world. Who said that? Come on out! Show yourself if you dare! Wamuli. Hey, I'm down here. Look. Hello. What is your name? Believe it or not, my name is Dragon, and I'm on my way to the border at the north end of the territory. Really? So am I. I'm going to fight the invading forces. But what are you going to do there, Dragon? I'm going to look for adventure. And I intend to offer my services to the cause of justice. <laughs> if you ask me, you're too small and too presumptuous to offer your services to anyone. So I'm too small and presumptuous, am I? What about you? You can try and deceive who you like, little girl, but I'll never buy it. Let's see if you're fast enough to escape before I cut out your evil little tongue. Show yourself, you coward! I like you, Huamuli, and if you'll accept my services, I'll come with you to fight the enemy. Thank you, and I apologize. I didn't mean to offend you before. Don't worry about it. I know that a good warrior must always have a certain amount of arrogance. Well then, shall we go? We got lots of adventures waiting for us out there. Hey, you don't really expect me to follow you on foot, do you? Huh? Are you saying that someone as smart as you can't fly? You think you're pretty smart, too, huh? I fly when I'm hunting talking oozles.
pleased to meet you, Mr. Horse. I have a feeling we're gonna be inseparable. <laughs> It'll be dark soon, and this seems to be a good place to rest. I'll go look for a nice, safe place to sleep. I'm not the thief you think I am. My name is Xiao Pang. I'm a soldier serving under General Zhao. I was on my way back to the camp when I saw your horse. I thought it belonged to the enemy. Hey, wait a minute. Come to think of it, I've never seen you at the camp. What's your name? I've never been to the camp. My name's Hua Muli, and I'm on my way to command headquarters to join General Zhao's army. It's a pleasure to meet you. You know, I'm glad we're fighting under the same flag. Come on, I'll take you to the camp. Keep your eyes open, there are lots of enemy soldiers around these parts. Well, I can't wait to get into a good fight, so if anybody runs into us, they're gonna regret it. any dangers.
That's amazing. Are all these animals friends of yours? Yes. Why do you ask? Do they speak to you as well? I mean, can you actually understand what they say? Hey, if you don't mind my saying so, I think you're the strangest person I ever met. Listen to me, pal. I suggest you break into a gallop and stop behind the next bend you come to. What's going on? Are there problems in sight? We're gonna have some visitors pretty soon. Our young friend will have a chance to show off her prowess. Second, what's happening? Slow down, wait for me. Where are you going? Hey, a thousand curses. What's going on here? Year again, and I'll shake you off like an irritating fly. <laughs> Would it be asking too much to know what you two are doing? If you pick me up and put me on the ground, I'll explain everything, Huamuli. four enemy soldiers out there chasing one of our officers. I thought I'd go hide myself over there on the other side of the canyon. Here, you take the other end of the rope. We'll pull it taut as they come by. They'll trip over it and fall to the ground. Then you jump in and finish them off. Wow, a real adventure at last. Those are enemy soldiers. My friend Huamuli is in terrible danger. He's gonna need all the help he can get.
a hand! You don't need a hand. You're much too good. Keep it up, but don't go too far. Don't kill him. Take him prisoner. I bet General Zhao's men will want to question them. Don't despair, Muli. Sao Pang will save you. They won't have a chance now. your passenger wait for me That's terrific, Hua Muli. In our first encounter with the enemy, two prisoners. They'll treat us like heroes at the camp when we show up with these two. Wait and see. <gasps> hey, now I won't have to travel on foot any longer. We make a great team, Hua Muli.
Look who's waiting for us, Huamuli. That officer is General Zhao's second in command and chief advisor. I recognize him, Xiao Pang. That's the officer the enemy soldiers were chasing. We rescued a really important person. I want to thank you both personally for rescuing me from the enemy. Please accept my apologies for not stopping to fight at your side. I was under strict orders to deliver some secret messages to General Zhao as soon as possible. By the way, the General is anxious to know the names of the two soldiers who showed such unusual initiative and courage. I am Ordinary Soldier Xiao Pang, Captain. I joined the army six months ago, and I've had the honor of serving under General Zhao's command ever since then, sir. My name's Hua Muli. I was on my way to command headquarters to offer my services to General Zhao. I'm delighted to make your acquaintance, Hua Muli. You could not have given us a better example of your fighting ability. It will be a great honor for me if you will both agree to serve as officers in my company. I, I accept, accept with pleasure, pleasure Captain. Captain. Good, now your first duty is to get some rest. You've certainly earned it. Come with me now, Huamuli. I want to take you to my tent. My friends are going to be really happy to meet you. Come on, Huamuli. This is our tent over here. Hey, wake up, guys. I want you to meet our new comrade in arms. His name's Hua Muli, and he's the best swordsman I ever saw. Hey. Hey, move over. Clear some space here. We have to make room for him. He's been assigned to our tent. Hey, no, wait, stop. I don't want to take your space. I'll make myself at home in the tent I saw outside. But there's no reason for you to do that. There's plenty of space in here, and the others don't mind. We're a team, Huamuli. We should be together at all times. Thank you, Xiaopang. I'd really prefer to sleep in here with you, but if you want to sleep too, I warn you, you'd better do yourself a favor and let me be by myself. Unfortunately, they say I snore like a trumpet, and I don't want to impose that on you guys. Nobody's ever been able to put up with it. Hey, XL Pang, we think there's something really strange about your new friend. Yeah, there's something really unusual about the way he behaves. His manners are too good. He's not just a simple soldier like us. He acts like he's been to school. You know what I think? He's been sent to spy on us. That's the real reason he wants to be in a tent by himself. Yes, yes you're right. right. He's a spy. spy. Yes. Well, if you're right and he is a spy, then it's our duty to do something about it. Shh, shh. Xiaopiang, you brought him into the camp. It's your responsibility to find out who he is. Nobody in here believed one word of that stupid story of his about snoring. Go visit his tent and check him out. If you discover he's a spy, it's your duty to kill him.
no, wait, it's me, Xiao Pang. Hold on. Why did you enter my tent like that, Xiao Pang? You were acting like a thief or an assassin. Well, what about you? What were you doing in bed with all your clothes on? Going to bed with all my clothes on has been a habit of mine ever since I can remember. It drove my parents crazy. They often used to try beating it out of me. <laughs> <laughs> What on earth's happening out here, Xiao Peng? The prisoners escaped! A thousand curses! Hurry, there's not a moment to lose. There are prisoners. We caught them, and it's our duty to catch them again. Come on! So far, they've been very careful not to leave any tracks. But look at this. One of them made a mistake. This footprint hasn't frozen yet. That means they can't be far ahead. Phew, that shadow scared me. But it's only Tilly who followed us from the camp. They must be on the other side of that hill over there. Let's go! sign of them. They're not as close as we thought. I don't agree, Mule. I'm sure they must be hiding somewhere near. It's too quiet. They're here, all right. Well, let's go down and see. But stay alert. Keep your eyes open, Salvan. <clears throat> Ah! <laughs> 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 
With your life. <laughs> you can bring the bird with you. It'll make a tasty morsel roasted, but you're gonna need it. We don't have any food for prisoners. <laughs> Let's go. We'll take him back to the camp. Huamuli, your plan is ingenious but extremely dangerous. I don't want to lose another brave warrior, but I have deep respect for your desire to rescue your friend. Although my mind is uneasy, I give your plan my full approval. Thank you, General Cao. I promise I will bring Xiao Pang back alive. I shall bury you with all the dignity that a great and courageous warrior deserves. <laughs> Are we on our own? Uh, but, but you know how to talk. Of course I'm a talking also. <laughs> but I thought birds could only repeat single words. But look at you. You don't like me being a chatterbox? Hey, look, I'm sorry. Don't get mad. I'm just very surprised, that's all. I thought you were dead. Instead, you're alive and you know how to talk. I couldn't be happier. What's your name? Everybody calls me Uzo, but my real name is Jemima. Oh. <laughs> oh, thanks. The least I expect is a little sympathy and understanding from a fellow prisoner. Come on, don't be so touchy. I wasn't laughing at you. I know exactly how you feel. You see, nobody ever calls me by my real name either. Xiao Pang's a nickname. It means chubby cheeks. <laughs> That's better. As you can see, we have our mutual misfortune in common. Hey, Mooley, I never expected you to treat a friend like that. You left me here alone, abandoned to my own fate. I'm sorry, Dragon, but you can't imagine how unhappy I am. Xiao Pang has been captured and the Yuzu is dead. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. You're crying like a little girl. Have you forgotten your Wamuli now? A brave warrior. No, no, I haven't forgotten. But I've never lost two friends at the same time before, Dragon. But I'm gonna make up for it, at least partly. Tomorrow, with your help, I'm gonna free Xiao Pang. What do you mean you're gonna make up for it, at least partly? I told you, poor Uzul attacked an enemy soldier and was killed. Freeing Xiao Pang will only partly make up for it. You underestimate that bird-brained friend of yours. She's more cunning than a snake. Don't worry, she's alive. She's keeping Zhao Peng company. How do you know? I mean, you're not kidding me, are you? What do you mean, how do I know? Come on, use your head. You should have learned to trust my ESP by now. Huh, Wamuli? Yes, you're right. I'm sorry, Dragon. Atta girl. Now, tell me your plan.
Buck's on our side, Muli. He's about the same size that you are. Hurry up and change. as soon as the moon reaches its highest point. You take the tent on the right, dragon. I'll torch the one on the other side. Then you get the horses and wait for us while I freak Xiao Pang. I like your plan, Wamuli. Yeah! Dragon's waiting with the horses. Is Dragon one of General Zhao's men? No way! He's just a turtle with a big head! Come on, let's get going! Wait, Dragon and I prepared a big surprise for General Beard. I want to see if it works. The prisoners escape! The prisoners escape! Don't worry about the fire. Catch the prisoner! No prisoner has ever escaped from my custody. Bring me my horse! That's it. He's fallen for it. We want him to follow us. I want to propose a toast to a young warrior who deserves all our respect. Thanks to his courageous plan, the enemy has been utterly defeated and we have won the war. Wa Muli. To 
Wabuli! This must be the 80th toast so far. Or maybe it's only 79. I can't remember. I'll take you to your tent. I want to tell you a secret. I'm a girl. You're so drunk, you don't even know what you're saying, Kwamuli. You'll feel better after a good night's sleep. Morning, Mooley. You know, you were so drunk last night, you told me you were a woman. <laughs> Too much wine can play nasty tricks. I want to give you a gift as a sign of our friendship. This dagger. It was part of my inheritance from my father. Oh, thank you, Xiaopeng. It's wonderful. I promise I'll keep it with me always. It's time for us to head back to our homes. If you like, I'll travel with you. I know that wound in your shoulder hasn't healed yet. This is where we must take separate roads, Muli. You know, you're the best friend I ever had. I'll come visit you as soon as I can. Goodbye, Xiaopan. I love you. And I'll miss you a lot. But I don't think I'll ever see you again. News of your military exploits has already reached the village. So many people want to come visit and listen to your stories. You have been at home for three days now. You could walk down to the village. No, not today. I might go tomorrow. Now I'm going to go for a walk in the woods. I'm worried about that girl. She's behaving even more strangely than before she went away. your horse, your clothes, and go in peace. Come and take them if you can. I beg you, don't kill us. All we want to do is go back to our own country. Get out of my sight and never come back here again. Next time I might not be so generous with you. You must be Huamuli's sister. No, Xiaopang, I'm not Huamuli's sister. I'm Huamuli. Or at least that was the name I used when I was pretending to be a soldier. My real name is Huamulan, and I was telling the truth that night at the camp when I was drunk. I promise you I'll never tell another lie, Xiaopeng. 
And there's something else I have to tell you, too. I love you. This is incredible. It's magnificent. I love you, too. Goodbye, Mulan Cao Peng. Now that you have your lives to live together, I will set off in search of new adventures. You were the best comrades in arms I ever had. Maybe I'll come back one day and share an adventure with your son. He'll be as brave as you. <laughs> <laughs>